Welcome back to the Kitchen Viewers, Aubrey here. Today I came back from the garden with a beautiful crop of banana peppers and I'd like to share a very yummy pickled banana pepper recipe with you, which just includes a few simple ingredients and minimal equipment. So let's get into the kitchen and let's get started. So as I mentioned previously, it's just a few simple ingredients to get these babies pickled. And that's going to include two cups of white vinegar, two cups of apple cider vinegar, a cup of sugar, we need one teaspoon of celery seed, one teaspoon of mustard seed, and then you're gonna need about one pound, this specific recipe calls for about one pound of processed banana peppers. And what that means is when you get this guy de-stemmed, seeded, and sliced into rings of your thickness, uh, whatever your thickness preference is, go ahead and do that for anywhere from a fourth inch to a half an inch. You don't want them too thick, you wanna keep them a little bit thinner, like I have here, and once you get them to this stage, you want to measure this out to about a pound, which is what we have here. This is a raw pack method as well. And what I mean by raw pack is we're going to be packing the raw vegetables into our hot sterilized jars. And then we're going to pour hot brine over those raw vegetables versus boiling the vegetables in with your brine and then packing our jars and processing them. We're just going to pour the brine over the raw pepper. So it's a really quick and simple process and then we'll allow those to marinate for about a week in the jars, but you can always let them sit in a longer, uh, more flavor is always better. Get those peppers sliced, de-stemmed, de-seeded. I'm gonna get my brine on the boil, and then we'll get those jars sanitized. So once you have your brine boiled, you want to take it off of the heat, get you a ladle so we can transfer this hot brine into our jars. Firstly, uh, let's get these peppers packed into our sanitized jars so we can pour that brine over. You can use a canning funnel for this process if you'd like. Uh, you don't have to, it's not necessary, but it does help just keep everything uh, in the direction you want it to be going. So once you have your peppers packed into your jars, you want to pour that hot brine over your peppers and just be uh, be really careful when you do so. And like I mentioned, it is a hot brine. It's got uh, some temperatures that we do not want to be mixing with our skin. You want to leave about a half an inch headspace for your processing. So I'm going to get these guys over into our water bath canner for processing. And I just want to tighten these lids on about hand tight. That way we can allow for bubbles to release during the processing. So I'm gonna transfer these two pints over into the water bath canner. That way I can extend our shelf life into about 12 months. If everything seals correctly after uh, you let them sit for about a day after you process them, everything looks good, everything's sealed. We have about 12 months of shelf life on these, but if you're not interested in storing anything back that long, or you don't have enough to store back that long, you can just pop it right into the refrigerator let them sit for about a week to marinate, and that goes the same for anything uh, canning as well. Whatever we're putting on the shelf, we're going to pop into those jars for about another week. Let all those pickling uh, spices and uh, brines just kind of infuse in flavor, and then you should be good to go. So I'm going to get these guys over into our water bath canner, let them process for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we should be good to go. So there you have it folks, from fresh garden banana peppers to pickled beauties. If everything turns out well, you should have something like this as your final product. I've actually canned these about a week ago, so they've already sat through the marination process and all that jazz, and I can't wait to open one of them up. I don't know about you. I hope that this recipe was simple enough to follow and that you can implement it in any of your future home canning needs. Thank you so much again, and I hope to see you back in the kitchen.